What's up, Zombie Slayers? This is KG48. Welcome back to my Seven Days to Die single player. Let's play this is episode 23. When we last left off, it was the morning time two days ago over in this town in Perishton. I uh, stopped the video. I came back home. Um, I, I left the game and I read your comments on last video. And you guys were right. I did leave a drop off chest up here. So I had to come all the way back up here, grab the Grab the drop-off chest and come all the way back down. Now, on my way back down, I did I did see an airdrop, so I went and I marked it on the map. I didn't want to open it up without you. And, uh, yeah, so I came home. Uh, so, basically, we missed all of day 19, be partially because I was a dumbass and I had to go back for another drop-off chest. Um, I did spend my night mining. We've got quite a bit of iron here. Um, we don't need to take the iron, although I'll, I think I'll take a 1,000 just in case I need it for something. Um, and we've got quite a bit of wood and, well, we don't need wood. If we need wood, we could, cut, we could chop down trees. And we've got pretty much everything I need here. And we are going to go building. Like I said, um, during the night, I've been doing a lot of mining. And I'm just going to show you. i got a bunch of stones here. been making stone. Um, over here, I have been uh, cooking lead. I also made a bunch of bullet tips. And I am actually in the process of making 9 mil uh, ammo right now. Because my gunsmithing is at 94 and look at it go it's really creeping up there um we're gonna be we're gonna be 100 gunsmithing well before uh day 21 i'm trying to do it organically but if i have to dump points in it i will this is my magnum i was wrong about the magnum i still need the this part i don't know what it's called i'm guessing this is the rare part of the magnum so i still need that part for the magnum but it's going to be a pretty good magnum i can make the magnum bullets i will eventually um i put a better pistol together here but because the handle is broken this pistol is now broken i'm not repairing it until my gunsmithing is at 100 percent and i'm going i put another pistol together which is green and i'll use this pistol to get my to get my pistol uh rounds up to get my pistol skill up now a lot of people have been complaining in this game that the skills go up too slow and i kind of agree i ran off a lot of pistol rounds last video and i only got to like pistols too um uh, you know it goes up really really slow um i don't know i kind of want to see that maybe beefed up a little bit they're gonna be doing a lot of uh a lot of um of uh balancing uh next game or next uh, alpha anyway down downstairs um i have been doing the mine there's nothing to show you it's a long trip not, and there's not much down there to show you so i will not do that we are going to go ahead and eat and I went ahead and also made, um, I made some baked potatoes. Um, they don't give any wellness, but they don't smell. So I'm going to be carrying those with me. And I, I also went and filled a bunch of bottles of water and I made a bunch of golden rod. Now you're caught up and let's get, let's get to, uh, Dyersville and do some building. It's going to be hardcore building. I'm really worried. I'm forgetting stuff. Um, you know, if I, if I forgot something and I have to come back here, I will pause the video. I'm not going to make you sit through me coming back here, but um all in all i think we're gonna i think we got everything we need and i actually did hear some screamers during the night they just died on my spikes spikes are doing their jobs um i might want to add a couple more spikes on the front right there and uh the farm is looking pretty good although it's not oh well the goldenrod's ready crap so is this did i plant did i replant the i didn't replant the potatoes ah that was stupid Ugh, i gotta replant the potatoes i also i also uh T took the blueberries I had and turned them into blueberry seeds. We'll do some farming after day 21, though. I'm not really that worried about it. The only thing I really want out of that farm really badly is the corn. And we're going to have to... We're going to have to pick that corn as soon as it's ready. Because once we get the corn, we can make the meat the meat stew. And yes, Scott, I do remember that the meat stew warms you up. I'm, you know, who cares, man? It's still... It's still really good. Alright. So we got the pistol. I will not use that on dogs. Um, but other than that, I'm going to use it on pretty much everything else I run into. Also, we want to drink this beer, and let's get going. Man, we got a lot of building to do. I have, that looks like a lot of concrete mix. It's really not, although I think it'll be enough for today. Um, I, I just want the first layer to be concrete, and that includes all the way up to the uh, bars, which are going to be on level six, because the zombies can now climb on each other's heads and dog pile on each other. Um, I want to put the bars up a little higher. Alrighty then. There's no point in not going loud because... E oh, goodness. There's no point in not going loud because, uh, you know, even when I'm quiet, the zombies still seem to know I'm here, so... It's kind of irrelevant. Got more dogs. Okay, Fido. 
turn around and run. You should be as fast as them. And oh, bullshit. Ugh, now I can't... Now I can't do anything because my weapon's automatically reloading. Gotta love that. Whatever. Stupid freaking ass dogs. I hate the freaking dogs. You can outrun them, but you gotta be running forward. And the problem with the blunderbuss is it's automatic reloading. I'm not doing that reload. <laughs> That's the game automatically reloading for me. Against my will. So. Kind of puts you in a bind when you're using this thing. Because it, 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 you're... you're you're beholden to that to that reload animation and um, if you need to do something like heal or something well too bad you gotta wait all right still getting a shotgun skill up here you know what, let's use the pistol now I still think you should get bonus experience towards your uh, towards your skill if you hit the zombie Maybe even bonus for killing it. That would be nice. Because, man, these skills go up really slow. And I know some of the hardcore players are like, whatever, man, they go up plenty fast. Yeah, that's cool, but they go up a little slow for my taste, personally. Oh, God, I hear a lot of zombies. Eh, nah, just crawlers, the hell with them. Oh, so we already did a lot of the concrete here. That wood on the bottom is going to be a problem. We're going to have to go through iron, and I'm not chopping it out, so... 4, 12, 20. Now, is that 20 total? 4? Four, four. Just remember that 4. 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, and 8. Okay, so it's 20 total to upgrade through the iron level. So that's not too bad. I don't want to do it, like, if I don't have to, but for this way, for this situation, I will. Cool. Scavenging just gotten to 61. Man, scavenging took forever, didn't it? Although I guess I haven't been doing a ton of it. Alright, let's um let's go upstairs and drop some stuff off and then come out here and uh start building. I'm also curious on what I left here. Um I would pause the video on this because I'm just doing inventory stuff, but you know what? Again, I don't know what I left here, so this could be interesting. Let's see what we got up here. You guys probably know better than I do, but just in case you would like to know. Oh wow, <laughs> quite a bit of stuff here. Honestly, it kind of looks like a lot of stuff, but it's really not that much. It's just a lot of little things that I left here. Nothing too useful, but it'll be good enough. You know, we need to break these out. Uh, you know what? I don't have anything to put down here except for uh, rebar frames. I didn't make I didn't make more rebar frames to put in these windows. We can finish the windows tomorrow. That's not a big deal, as long as we get everything else done. And let's just break these down now. Okay. Very good. Very good. A little bright, wasn't it? Alright, so that's going to be all the rebar frames. We'll make some more rebar. Um, We'll make some more rebar tomorrow night. Hopefully I remember. Did I not bring a pick? There it is. I was going to say. Okay, and you too. So you can come right here. Okay, and we're getting skills because um, we're working on other abilities like um, upgrading walls and stuff. Stuff we haven't been doing before. So, that's really nice. Alright, so 20 iron to go through that is not as bad as I thought. And I do have quite a bit of iron, so. Crap, do I have steel on me? Well, I don't anymore. Ah! Shoot. <laughs> ah! I mean, I guess we'll make this these walls steel eventually anyway, but... Okay. At least three levels up. Uh, we could probably... Ah, whatever. We don't have to take that wood off. 
Let the zombies break it off, right? Alright, I think this is a good time for a time lapse. Not much of a time lapse there. Um, I didn't think it would be that quick, uh, and I need to st I need to s to stop now because I need to figure out where I'm going to put the iron bars. Again, six frames up. So one, two, three, four, five. So one above that. One, two, three, four, five. Oh wait, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I did put it on the sixth. Cool. Let me just double check that. I didn't think I did. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Beautiful. All right, well, let's get in there. And uh, we'll upgrade that from the inside. It'll be a lot easier. And what I'm doing is I'm upgrading the... I, I'm going to run out of... Uh, I'm going to run out of concrete. So I want to make sure I get all the way around the house, the part upgraded, that is going to be holding the steel bars. Because steel bars have a... Um, you know, just like anything else in this game, they have a certain threshold where if you put enough weight on them, they will collapse. So that's what I'm doing right now. Um, and uh, reinforced concrete is really strong in holding things in place. I don't know if I want to get rid of these walls or not. I guess I should. Maybe not get rid of the walls completely, but maybe break holes in them. Definitely want a, a door here. Get rid of all the loot containers. I can hit the other part from the outside. I could always upgrade this after I put down the iron bars, but eh, I might as well do it now. It's easier. Okay. Very good. Come on here. Let's break these out. Now, the reason I'm leaving the walls in here is for structural support. Don't break out the walls if you don't have to. Rule of thumb in this game. Don't break out the walls if you don't have to. This construction skills going up. It's already pretty high though. I didn't realize it was that high. Oh, I didn't loot this. Uh, we can scrap that and break it. Normally you take the, bear the bed apart, but I just don't care that much. I just want it out of there. Okay, it's coming along quite nicely. We don't need a toilet. Again, you would take it apart normally. I'm just trying to get it out of the way. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to break out of this window. And we're going we're gonna to start putting down two layers of iron bars completely around the base on this level. It's going to be a little tricky. We should probably do this from the bottom. Yeah, we're going to have to do this from the bottom. Actually, we could just do this like this. And that's it. It's just like that all the way around. This will probably be easier. Now that I got it started, it'll probably be easier from the top. Yeah, this space is going to be definitely ready for day 21. No joke. Although I'm not going to keep anything here, just in case. Because some, uh, some of the commenters on my videos told me that day 21 is ridiculous now. And um, they got me a little concerned. Although I played it off like I was badass. I was like, oh, watch and learn, young grasshopper. But <laughs> but no, I'm not, I'm not comfortable. Um, so we'll see. I'm a lot more comfortable now that I got the shotgun. Alright, so this is going to be a little tricky here. Kind of do this. Kind of like this. 
right, we do not want to fall here, obviously. Can't place it right there because we're standing here. There we go. And then come on over here. And you can put this back. And you grab your trusty axe. Well, it's already on there, so... Get this out of the way. And you pick this up. Ah, damn it. There we go. And we gotta get that out the second way. Eh, I'll just leave it single for now. Ah, I shouldn't. I should do it real. I should do it right. Um, can I jump down there without hurting my leg? What do you think? Any want to take any bets? Cool. Alright, so we come on over here. And we just pull this out one more. Like so. Honestly, I should probably just do this like this. It's just easier. In the long run. Plus, you can get the better. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. Uh, hit this right on the corner. Gotta break that bad boy out. Now you builders, this is what you want to see, so... And you ain't seen nothing yet. Just wait until you see the stuff I got in, in store. I've already built it all in my head. Which, honestly, is the hardest part. Did that go out twice? Yes, it did. Now, this is where... We're going to have the walkway. And I'm wondering if we should kind of plan out the walkway now. You know, it could help us later. Because if uh, we don't plan it out now, uh, it could be a pain in the butt later. So, oh man, this place is getting smashed. Oh well. Let's, uh, let's come on up here. And let's, uh, I guess right about here would be a good spot for the walkway. Oh, perfect. Well, not perfect, but good. It's going to be three wide. No, it's going to be one wide, actually. Okay, so we should probably start building this walk. I think I want to make it out of cobblestone, though. I was going to make it out of wood, but then I was thinking wood might be a little weak. So I'm thinking cobblestone, which we need lumps of clay and small stone. Mm, cobblestone's going to be tough to get. Stones are a big problem for me right now. Um... Alright. Okay. Well. Well, that that, get, that starting of that of that uh, walkway is all I needed. So now I can mark out where I don't want to put down the where I knew. Oh, let's use one of those. Now I can mark off where I don't want to put down the uh, the iron bars. Do this. And this. Okay. That's going to be the walkway. Alright, good. So let's go downstairs. Come on over here. Looks like we're going to have enough iron bars. Thank God. Alright, then we'll come over over here. All right, so the walkway is going to be there. You know what? I might have to put down the put down the iron bars anyway. Um, the walkway is not going to be ready for quite a while. Yeah. Well, whatever. I mean, at least we marked it. It's not really that big of a deal if we marked it or not, but I'm going to end up putting down the iron bars anyway. So really marking that was kind of pointless. But it's kind of giving you an idea. I'm going to have a walkway going from here to there. It's that simple. And then what will happen is if this place starts getting hammered on, I'll come over here and let this place get hammered on. And if this place starts getting hammered on... 
I'll go over to there and let that place get hammered on and so and forth. I mean, I'm going to take over this whole damn town. So it's going to be freaking sweet. Man, it's going to be sweet. And it's taken a long time, but you know what, guys? That's single player, you know? I got nobody help me. And, um, you know, I play legit. I play in almost default settings, although I could be playing harder settings, but yeah, I could be playing a lot easier settings, too. So we don't need that, and we need that. Can we repair that? We might as well repair that, right? There we go. Oh, much better. I should have repaired that a while ago, actually. Man. Man you go really far to the edge. I'm gonna reach it now. Oh, you're killing me, game. Killing me. I want one of those, like, drones. Like, I have an Empyreon. In Empyreon, you have, like, a little remote control drone that could kind of, like, go up to the hard-to-reach spots and place blocks for you. So freaking sweet. It's new, but, man, it's freaking genius. Okay. There we go. We're getting there. We're getting there, peeps. Oh, yeah, that's right. There were some some parts of this I couldn't get to. That's okay, though. I'll do that. Once the uh, walkway's up, I'll just fill in the spots I couldn't get to from the inside. I was like, why is that brick not upgraded? What did I miss? I was like, oh, yeah. Because it was like, it was behind a wall or something. Am I not gonna have enough of this? Oh man. I keep thinking I could reach farther than I can. I don't think I'm gonna have enough iron bars. It's irrelevant though, because I have enough at home. I can make more at home easily. It looks like it's gonna be about. What did I come here with? 144? It looks like it's going to be about 160, 180 per house, roughly. That's overshooting. Okay. And we're almost there. Yeah, 160 to 180 per house, I would think. Oh, there's 144 and it's almost enough. Fill in that last spot later. I take it back. 140 to 160 per house. Because I think the one I'm doing right now is the biggest house on the block. So that means to do the next house, I'm probably going to need at least 140. 140 might be overshooting for the next house. Actually, it definitely is, but that's okay. Alright, guys, the bars are finished, pretty much. Let's get up top. Get up top and take a look. I know there's a couple more i got to fill in. Alright. See that right there? That place is going to come down. <laughs> I can pretty much guarantee it. I'm just worried about this house over here. I don't want that house to come down. I might do some uh, fixing up of that house. They probably shouldn't attack it too much, but... There we go. Finished. Alright, let's, um, let's go around and fill in any blocks that we didn't upgrade in the meantime. And then we'll call it a video. Like this one. Or this one. Okay. And then we just gotta finish all the ones below. And throw down some more spikes. We don't have to throw down some more spikes. But I'm gonna have the time. So it would be a good idea. Probably small spikes actually.
Okay. And that is all the way around. Honestly, we don't even have to upgrade any more of the house above that line because they technically shouldn't be hitting it. You know, we could probably do this from the inside even. Nah, let's do it from the outside. We can reach it, no problem. Alright, guys. I'm going to finish the rest of this off camera and then uh, go in for the night. And uh, tomorrow, we will be doing our final preparations for the Seven Day Horde. And I think we need to probably clear some of this out. Because I'm probably going to want to put some put some more spikes back here. Anyway, that's going to be it for episode 23. We'll see you next time for episode 24. Until then, take it easy.